question you might be wondering about is where did interest in this topic of work design come from? Basically, we need to go right back to the Industrial Revolution in the late 1700s. At this time, lots of people came to cities to work in factories, and the question arose as to how to organise work. Frederick Taylor's answer to this question was scientific management, which basically involves breaking jobs down into the smallest possible part, and then specifying the exact one best way that these small tasks should be carried out. Taylor also believed that workers should do the manual work while managers should do all the mental work. So this meant managers made all the decisions and workers had very little say. Scientific management, or Taylorism, became very popular because it meant that less skilled and hence cheaper workers could be employed. Training times were also faster because the tasks were so narrow and efficiency was increased because the individual could do a single task quickly. And then Henry Ford came along, and Ford is the person who manufactured cars on a large scale for the first time. In 1910, Ford took the ideas in scientific management further. He introduced the idea of a working assembly line. Each worker is assigned a specific assembly task and the person is stationary while the line mechanically moves and brings the sub-assemblies to the person. With assembly lines, it was possible to make cars faster, but there was a downside. The jobs were very, very repetitive. People had very low skill variety and they were almost tied to the line, so their autonomy was exceptionally low. Over time, Workers began to rebel against these poor job designs by going on strike or being absent from work or even sabotaging the quality of the products. And researchers began to observe that these poor work designs affected employees' mental and physical health. Interestingly, despite much evidence about the bad effects of these work designs, even today, managers still have a tendency to design simplified, narrow jobs that don't give employees much decision-making responsibility. It seems to be an ingrained response from many of us to design jobs that look a bit like those in Henry Ford's automobile factories. Reflect back on the result you obtained in the job design assessment. How did you design work? What choices did you make?